Hey guys, um, my name is Manny, and I just passed my sysops probably uh, two, three weeks ago actually. Um, but I just wanted to recap on what the exam uh, did for me and uh, what I went, what I went through to prepare for for the exam. Um, so I got the badge. Um, it was this exam was a lot harder than the uh, solutions architect that I had gotten uh, before before the sysops. This one is a lot more troubleshooting more in depth uh, within the services that AWS uh, provides you. Uh, a lot of cloud formation, a lot of administrator um, services, right? And pretty much seeing how each one works with the other, how they're mingled in, uh, what error messages mean, uh, what can you do to resolve the problems? A lot of troubleshooting questions uh, com in comparison with the solutions architect where it was really it was kind of broad, like, you know, okay, what what do you use to administer users? You know, IAM, okay, that's it, you got you got the answer, you know, but you just had to know what the other three options were from your multiple choice. So this was a lot harder than Solution Stock and for me, right, because it was more, it was more uh, troubleshooting, more in depth. Uh, the courses that I used were the uh, Stefan and Udemy. Uh, Stefan had an amazing course in the sysops. He does go over a little bit of what you've probably gone over in the developer certificate and also in the solutions architect. If you got uh, his class, I did my solutions architect from, from a different person. Uh, but nonetheless, he goes over things that you will need to revisit. So no worries there. Um, he, he was an amazing uh, instructor for, for this course. Um, and it was pretty cheap. It was like eleven, twelve dollars. So I would highly recommend uh, any of his classes. He he really goes through everything. It's very well divided. If you have any questions, etc., uh, you 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 can ask him. Okay. Uh, cloud formation was for me it was a, it was a little big in sysops. And it was very important to to know at least the error messages that you would receive and what would happen and why would um, why certain. Uh, things would fail within within cloud formation and how other services were involved in that so so I, i'm trying to i'm trying to tell you as much as i can without um, breaking uh breaking any any rules right uh okay so okay the other one for exams for practice exams etc i followed the john bonzo's uh exams as you can see here uh that's that's the name of the course um, i took each exam two three four times and and you can see that the questions are big just like in the exam in the exam you will see questions this long um, and some answers will be just like that. I think this is the perfect example actually you'll see questions like this and uh, what's great about uh, these practice exams is that it actually gives you an explanation a very good explanation and it also gives you references to uh, AWS documents and also uh, tutorials and you can see it's just even within their page tutorials dojo they they give you a lot of information and even cheat sheet you know it's it's a lot of things that you you probably should know about or memorize and you will probably be asked especially if you want to get a job you know you're trying to be as prepared as you can for your interview and eventually the position because then they'll ask you oh well this was in the sysops why can't you do it so it's kind of uh, things that you should think about and, and work often to get hands-on as much as possible right just to to get your your foot if, if that's if that's your goal um, uh, a lot of AWS uh, CLIs uh, not a lot of questions on this on the exam however when there were they were very random uh, they were all over the place so it was uh, with cloud formation not a scaling and stuff and, and it's kind of easy to to know what it's about or what the prob probably the correct one is um but you you have to you have to uh, you have to know it if you don't know it you, you just won't and you won't and you'll get that question wrong 100 percent um another page that i found that was really good actually for the practice exams was this page uh, i was just googling um, going through probably the second third fourth page and then i noticed that uh, all these practice questions were kind of relevant. Uh, of course, they didn't have a lot of the explanations that I wanted, but hey, m more questions for me to compare services, compare answers, etc. So this this helped me uh, tremendously. Um, and yeah, I did probably all the practice exams just to get in my head, make sure that I had not missed any any bit, uh, because these practice exams really 
help me uh, help you to fill the gaps in your knowledge and be able to take the exam a lot more confident right and uh, confidence does uh, help you sometimes uh, uh, when taking the exam especially if it's a long exam and the questions are like I showed you they're they're long you know they're, they're long um, and that is it um, I, I think I think all the sections they they touch on them there wasn't one that stood out more than the other uh, in, in terms of difficulty right so uh, that's what I did if you guys have any other questions um, let me know the information is still fresh in my head I'm still actively trying to be as I try to get a position in, in the cloud um, I'm actively trying to create things and, and stay familiarized with what I'm doing just so when I do get that opportunity to go on an interview or go to um, a job I can actually do what I am saying I can or what these certificates show that I can you know I, I just don't want to be a you, you don't want to be a person that just has a bunch of certificates and can't actually deliver on what um, what they what they expect from you you know um, and that's it if you guys have any questions again I just write them down in the comments and I'll be more than happy to answer them thanks Peace.